everyone, welcome to my channel, Let's Talk About It Media 21. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and please hit the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you will be the first one to see it. No, all comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only, where we discuss celebrity news, celebrity gossip, what's going on on IG and Google, and what's the hot topic for the day or the week. Fair use. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships, and research. Fair use is use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And also... Hit your notification bell, that way every time we upload a video, you'll be the first one to see it. So let's get it, get into it. Kelly Rowland did an interview. I'm going to let you listen in on how the interview went. Let's be very clear, everyone. Whenever you go on an interview, have you noticed within the last two to three years, sometimes an interviewer will look for something for a clip interview to make you upset or surprise you. <sighs> Kelly handled this well. Whenever you're in a group, whenever you're a person of success, he's trying to paint Beyonce as superior and any anyone with her is below her. And Kelly made it clear, Beyonce and us paved the way. We're all shining lights. I loved how she handled this interview and most people aren't going to talk about it unless there was some conflict and drama but we're covering it because we focus on healthy safe relationships be loving and kind be strong in mind body soul and spirit let's listen in had such an interesting run for so many reasons you and angie just had a great conversation um on her podcast about yes. um her, angie gave you flowers for your ability to play second to Beyonce, mm -hmm. which for so many, everyone who gets, I don't want to speak for me, mm -hmm. everyone who gets in the entertainment business mm -hmm. gets into it to be the man, right? Mm -hmm. Just me working with Ebro takes hates my own it. ego. Hates it. It hates it. It's my own. My ego has to be in check. Even though when he's not here, I'm like, you know what? I kind of prefer Ebro come back. But <laughs> it takes, it, it does take an ego check. And mm -hmm. you happen to be standing next to the brightest light on planet earth like you think big boy from outcast has it tough being next to andre you're with beyonce and not only did you not like fight it it seems like you really loved the position that you were in and took it seriously and here's, here's the thing light attracts light i am light right mm. so i am a beautiful brown shining light right so i don't think anybody's light dims anyone else's i think that when other people start to compare you right i think that that's when it shows how dim they are of themselves right so i don't take somebody else trying to dim my light anymore for anybody else i love b i know that she's a light but i know that i'm a light too right but it's also created such an interesting role for you where like you could have rested on your laurels and just been like hey i'm a part of this iconic group mm -hmm. my best friend's the biggest star in the world we kick ass we're awesome yes but and her and her best friend slash sister is one of the big stars in the world too <laughs> that's so right it's like people only see things one-sided right you know what i mean so i don't like when they just put one person in one place like we both shine together right. i'm shining with marseille we're shining together right. it's always been like patriarchy to me or even now like everybody's actually taking the hit of and start to believe this thing where well only one woman can do this and they shine the biggest right. my sister has knocked down doors and made positions for so many women uh that look like her that are deeper shades than her or brighter or whatever but specifically for black women and put black women in other places that you know we're grateful for you know what i mean but also somebody else did that for her and another mm -hmm. group has done that for and you're us doing that for other and people. i do it for other brown girls yeah. so it's yeah. just it's just a cycle and a space for all of us to open up doors for each other instead of compare don't be so limited and that's i feel like people who compare are limited in their minds mm -hmm. and they limit themselves and so do not don't do that to other people that's but right do you think that people see it as as in the world and this mm -hmm. is what no matter your that's such an interesting 
So I told you, she did a great job. And then he kind of continued to try and make it that. And it wasn't that. We all love on each other. We're all support each other. You're trying to put her here and you're trying to act like we're below here. No, we were a successful group together. Let me know in the comments how you feel, how she had to keep cleaning it up. And this is what people do to people trying to make it seem like one is more superior than the other. And she's constantly telling him, we were a successful group together, shining light together. And this is where it almost becomes a colorist problem. All the ladies were a group, beautiful group, beautiful like sisters. And you're trying to paint one this, and you're trying to paint this one this, and this is the biggest thing that you can't tell somebody how you feel that this one is superior and I'm not, excuse me, I'm in the middle of an interview. Some women, they're better than me because I would have been like, excuse me, we're all successful. We're all within our own right. She was the lead singer because we felt that she should be the lead singer because there's certain levels of, I can't, I can't reach that pitch or tune or whatever. She's better than me because I would have went in. So the first time, and I loved, I loved how she listened. She listened to see what he was going to say. Some, some people listen to respond. She listened to get an understanding what he was trying to say. And it's like, okay, he's still saying it. Like, I'm not a great person. I'm not a shining light. Like, I'm not successful. No, we're, we were all successful together. Now, mind you, B has a successful career solo as well. But the biggest thing is, do you see how these interview people allegedly do stuff for a click view and make you feel like you're not as successful? And here she is sitting with a beautiful young girl next to her showing her how to do this interview. Many people can learn from Kelly. Kelly don't play. Kelly don't play about herself, her family, and her friends. Respect across the board. Let me know in the comments how you feel how this interview went. Should he have tried to go there? Are you happy that Kelly straightened it out? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe.